Hi, I'm the Discussioner here. This is a video response to Words on Fire video, a channel that uh, features a one Father Baron uh, who comments on various uh, social and religious issues. I'm not sure if Father Baron actually runs his channel or whether or not it's run by someone else who just happens to feature the vast majority of uh, his commentaries or not. Uh, either way, I hope the uh, runner of that channel or the owner of that channel accepts this response and uh, opens up a dialogue here because I would really like to discuss this topic in detail. Now, I also asked my friend ProfMTH to submit his recent video on the uh, issue of the HHS mandate about contraceptives and how it relates to religious institutions uh, to Father Barron's latest video, or I should say Ward on Fire videos latest video. Um, I'm assuming he's going to do that, but if, it, if he doesn't or is unable to, for whatever reason, I'll go over the main points and add my own. What Prof uh, said in regards to the latest HHS mandate information was that he gave four scenarios in which uh, individuals may be uh, less likely than in the case of the contraceptive issue to grant a religious exemption on the base of freedom of conscience. Two of the examples he gives are ones that I came up with myself before watching his video and two of them are unique that I never considered. So hats off to Prof in that regards. The four that he gave was uh, the example of a state that uh, imposes a law banning the covering of one's face in certain public areas. The example that I would give would probably be, let's say, a bank. Um, but a group of Muslims would like to have an exemption for that law as they feel it is their moral obligation based upon their religious beliefs to constantly cover their faces when they are in public, including when going into banks. Now, um, ones that, let's say, are publicly owned as well. Uh, the uh, second example that he gave that I uh, was uh, also going to give before I watched his uh, video was the example of uh, a law prohibiting the slaughter of animals unless for the purpose of procuring food and a group that wants to have a religious exemption as that's part of their religious beliefs to slaughter animals for uh, religious purposes. Now two that he came up, that w up with that were unique in that I didn't think them up uh, before watching his video were uh, the example of a Native American tribe that would like an exemption to uh, drug laws uh, since they desire to smoke uh, peyote based upon their religious rituals and uh, beliefs. The uh, second example uh, they gave that I did not come up with was the example of a law banning 14-year-olds uh, uh, and under from participating in uh, labor that would include the selling of uh, literature, let's say, and a group of Jehovah's Witnesses that would like an exemption to that law based on the fact that they believe it is part of their moral and religious obligation, their freedom of conscience, to uh, distribute and sell religious literature as part of their religion, and as Prof says, they extend it to uh, those that are under the age of 14. So I would like to ask uh, either Word on Fire video uh, or, or preferably Father Baron whether or not he believes these four in cases would warrant a uh, exemption under the law. And if he believes that they shouldn't, why that differs from the HHS mandate that mandates uh, Catholic uh, organizations, or I should say institutions that are affiliated with the Catholic Church, offer programs that allow, uh, that offer contraception. The issue that I have with Father Barrett, um, or at least his uh, latest commentary, is that there is no distinction made between the actions of an individual and one's individual uh, religious freedom and how they relate to other people who are not in their religion. The HHS mandate does not say that any Catholic person must take contraception. What it does say is that you, or if you are employing someone who desires contraception, it must be something that you offer as a possible health care option, because there are people in your employ that might not actually share your religious values or your religious beliefs. There are plenty of people that work in Catholic hospitals that are not Catholic that have no problem with contraception. Um, 
Um, and if you're going to employ people that don't have your religious beliefs, should you have a religious exemption to keep from them things that they would have in other types of employment? That is what I think is the issue at hand here. The idea of religious freedom in this country was that you would be able to uh, behave in the way that was consistent with your religion. I don't think it meant that you must try your best to make sure that other people do not uh, behave in ways that are contrary to your religion or that they conform to your own religious beliefs uh, and to your own religious behaviors. That is an issue that I think is uh, glossed over by Father uh, Barron in his recent commentary, and it's one that I think warrants addressing. There was one other point that I wanted to bring up, but I can't think of it at the moment. Perhaps we'll discuss it in the comment section. I do hope that this starts a uh, dialogue and that we can uh, talk about this amiably and uh, reasonably. That's about it. Have a nice day. On this discussion, out.